Hello, hello, and happy pre-Halloween. I want to do a little challenge, a little uh, Biden-Harris Halloween challenge. So just put any of your pictures from years ago or even this year of any costumes you may have. I want us to have some fun these next two nights. Tonight and, of course, tomorrow is Halloween, the Biden-Harris Halloween challenge. Post any of your pictures uh, in the comment section <laughs> below. Deep breaths. Oh, okay, here I'm back. So the same trying to reconnect. So I may be having some issues, but just keep watching. We'll straighten them out as we go. So just lifting the hands, lifting those elbows up side to side, getting that side angle stretch. Good to see everybody. Hello, hello. Good to see everybody. Just kind of like just open up the area with the torso by allowing the arms to go up, those elbows to go up. And let's try lifting those arms up. Do as high as you can. When your body says stop, stop. Limited mobility is okay. This is a very beginner friendly class. Limited mobility friendly class. So I know it's not Halloween yet, but I'm excited. I'm married to someone who's very much into Halloween, so, and I'm very much into wearing costumes, so we make a good pair. So definitely post any of your photos in the comment section of your costumes, your Halloween outfits. Hello, hello, deep breaths, sweep those arms up. <laughs> good. So we're lifting those arms up at an angle, and now we're crossing in front of the chest. So see if you can turn this way, two, three, four, five, six, seven, going backwards, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Let's lift those shoulders up, roll them back, deep breaths, trying to keep that pandemic pooch in, engage the abs. Breathe. Oh, if you need a little help, if you're at home and you're safe, you can take your mask down. If you're outside in public, keep it up. If you're home and safe, opposite direction. Deep breaths. The Biden-Harris Halloween Challenge. <laughs> Relax, pre-Halloween, pre-Halloween challenge. And we're gonna do it again tomorrow night too when I have my real outfit on. This is something that I had in the drawer from before, but my real costume is tomorrow night. Deep breaths. <sighs> relax the face, relax the breath. So now we're gonna do something a little different. Opposite elbow to opposite knee. So bring it in and out. Two, three. Hello, Kefi Ann, so good to see you. Welcome to Seven at Seven at Silverlocks Yoga with June. Limited mobility friendly because June has limited mobility. <laughs> Good, now let's switch. So the, this is the side that's difficult for me to lift the arm up, but if you can lift your arm all the way up, do so. Deep breaths. You gotta keep moving. One of the hardest things about being home and being quarantined is that we don't move as much as we used to. So we gotta keep moving. Deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Relax the face, relax the breath. Good. Now let's try to keep those elbows up. Try to keep those elbows up in alignment with the shoulders. Separate the feet, about shoulder width apart. Big inhale, turn. Feel that twist, gently come back. Big inhale, turn. Doing only what we can do today. Breathe. Deep breaths. I did. Kefi Ann Miller and I, uh, battles, beg your pardon, go back a long, long way. College days, I was in high school, she was in college, and she was one of the pretty gorgeous college girls that I always wanted to be like, so I used to always hang around. Deep breaths. You know what's wrong with your arm. Ah, uh, my arm. Okay, so the issue with my arm, thank you for, thank you, Melman, because um, I can't see, I don't have my glasses on. The issue with my arm is the uh, side effects from the medication that I'm on. 
for the hormones because with the breast cancer you have to be on hormone medication for about five years and so there's some side effects that go along with that and for me one of the side effects is issues with my wrist my right wrist and my left shoulder so I can't lift this arm up any higher but good news is they've scheduled me to meet with an orthopedic surgeon next week so hopefully we'll be able to figure some things out with that thank you for asking deep breaths good so engage those abs let me turn so do a little touching of the toes I always like to do the touching of the toes because we want to make sure that we are limber and that we have that energy if you can't touch the toes right away bend the knees a little bit and then touch down then slowly straightening those legs and you'll see that you can bring the hands a little closer to the toes. So bending those knees, kind of wiggling the hips side to side, moving those hips so that the toes can, the fingertips can touch the toes and then straightening those legs. Slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Deep breaths. Relax the face, relax the breath. Lift that chin up to the sky. Stick out that tongue a few times. So we're working that jawline, face yoga. Stretch the muscles of the face, wiggle the nose, move the eyebrows. You'll notice when you squinch the eyes closed and then open them, squinch and open, you can actually see clearer. It's like I can see clearly now the rain is going. <laughs> Deep breaths. Let's try one more toe touch. Breathe, deep breaths. Slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Make a gentle fist, place it in the lower back, back bend. And we come back to center. That's seven minutes. Seven at seven, seven minutes at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you so much for joining me. Seven at seven at Silver Locks Yoga with June. You can go to at Silver Locks Yoga with June. There's a separate page for that. And you can see all of the seven at sevens there. Thanks so much for joining me. Remember the Biden-Harris Halloween challenge. Post your pictures of your costumes in the comment section here or the comment section tomorrow when I have my real costume on. Thanks so much for joining me. May the light in me honor the light in each and every one of you. Namaste.